Hey friends, welcome to Stocks and Crypto Plays. I'm talking about AMC Stock. We have some massive breaking news yet again. This Sunday night, you're probably going to watch it Sunday night or maybe on Monday you're going to see this. But it's massive breaking news. We have more news on the CEO, Adam Aaron. I know you've been hearing his name a lot, but it is what it is. Um, we have proof now that Citadel is connected to Adam Aaron and Adam Aaron is connected to Citadel. I thought it was strange on these SEC documents that I was researching that Antara Capital Master Fund LP was listed as a Cayman Islands, a Cayman Islands exempted limited partnership Antara Master Fund. Now there's some other Antara Capitals that they have uh, their business associated with, with different addresses. But one of these was connected to the Cayman Islands and I found that very interesting. And the reason I'm doing this video so late today is because I've been doing research throughout the day and I, I didn't have everything I needed until right now. I know it's kind of late to be doing the video, but I can't put anything out until I have the, the research done. So here we go. Hit like, subscribe, add notifications, share the video with a friend. This is a big one. So Adam Aaron is connected to Citadel. How so? How are they connected? Well, here we go. Santricus acquisition. We found the form 8K. We found it. And here it says, change in directors or principal officers. Interesting. Hmm. On May 6, 2021, Centricus Acquisition Corp., the company, announced the election of who? Is this a typo? Mr. Adam Aaron. As a new director of the company, Mr. Aaron has been appointed to serve on the audit committee, the nominating committee, and the compensation committee of the company with such appointment effective upon his becoming a director of the company. Uh... Mr. Aaron has served since January 2016 as Chief Executive Officer, President, and Director of AMC Entertainment Holdings, Inc. AMC is the world's largest movie theater company. Hmm. Prior to that, Mr. Aaron was Chief Executive Officer of Starwood Hotels and Resorts Worldwide. I never knew that till just now. Today. Hmm. Interesting and served on its board of directors from 2006 to 2015. From 06 to 15, Aaron served as senior operating partner of Apollo Management LP, a leading private, private equity firm. Private equity firm, interesting. What kind of friends did he make at his private equity firm? Hmm. Since 2006, Mr. Aaron also served as chairman and chief officer of World Leisure Partners, Inc., a personal cons uh, consultancy. Okay, blah, blah, blah. All right, more blah, blah, blah. Mr. Aaron serves as Chief Executive Officer and Co-Owner of the National Basketball Association's Philadelphia 76ers from 2011 to 2013. That makes sense. That's why he was tweeting about that team. Okay, that part makes sense. He was President and CEO of Norwegian Cruise Line. Okay, so it goes on and on and on and on. But, you know, we're not trying to pump up Adam Aaron and, you know, all the different companies he's worked for. We get that piece of it. Let's see. In connection with this appointment, this is what we're getting to here. In connection with this appointment, Mr. Aaron is expected to enter into an indemnity agreement and a letter agreement with the company on the same terms as the indemnity agreements and the letter agreement entered into by the directors and officers of the company at the time of the company's initial public offering. So, let's see here. This company is connected to BlackRock and um, they basically installed Adam Aaron, okay? So, if you do your research on it, you'll find out that BlackRock owns this company and they installed Adam Aaron. So this is very disturbing, the connection of BlackRock in this company that Adam Aaron was appointed 
the head of, and it's based in the Cayman Islands. Citadel owns this company, okay? Centricus, they own it. They're based in the Cayman Islands. Now look at this SEC document. Antara Capital Master Fund LP, a Cayman Islands exempted limited partnership. Hmm. Interesting. So the other thing I can't help but think about is I did a video probably a few months back. You probably saw it where... BlackRock sold 20 million shares of AMC right before Ape was installed into our accounts. They sold at the top, the second top. So we had two tops. We had the $74 top, and then later we had, a, a, you know, it crashed all the way down. We, we researched it back up to 29-ish in that range, and they sold at the top right there before, at, before AMC crashed down again. How did they know? AMC stock was going to crash when Adam Aaron released the ape. How, how did they know? How did BlackRock know? Did you watch that video that I did where I showed you the proof that BlackRock owned about 40 million shares and they sold 20 million shares right when, right before Adam Aaron released ape onto the market? Perfect timing for them. So the real question is, friends, well, it's not even a question. Now we have proof. We have actual proof as of tonight. Adam Aaron, CEO of AMC, is connected to BlackRock. BlackRock owns this company. They installed Adam Aaron as the head of it in the Cayman Islands. Very disturbing. Very disturbing to say the least. And did you know the Cayman Islands are a place where people go to hide money and to hide themselves from being extradited to the United States for any potential crimes they may have committed. We keep finding stuff, friends. We keep finding stuff. Comment below. What do you think about all this? Hit like, hit subscribe, add the notification, share the video with a friend. This is massive breaking news, and now I've got it for you. Watch the video again if you need to. I think you need to watch it twice. It's just my personal opinion. Have a great day, friends. I'll have more videos for you tomorrow, okay? And also, if you get a chance, watch my MULN video. You probably haven't gotten a notification. Make sure you subscribe to me. I think MULN Mullen, it's about to blow up, okay? Now, if it goes down, it goes down. I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. But I think Mullen is getting ready to blow up, okay? They just made a $10 billion deal with a potential to have it as high as a $100 billion deal. It's already signed. The $10 billion minimum is already signed. Done. They've done it. Mullen. Mullen Auto Automotive. M-U-L-N. I put out a buy order for Monday, okay? Watch my Mullen video after this. Go into my profile, into my channel. Watch the M-U-L-N video. Mullen Automotive, American-made EV car company. You can buy shares for like nine to 10 cents a share. The CEO said he will not be doing a reverse split. He said he has enough money for um, one year. As of right now, this was a couple months ago, he said that. And he got about, uh, I think it was a one year extension to where he did not have to do a reverse split. So it appears that we're safe from that. I'm not a financial advisor. That's not financial advice. Um, so Mullen's getting ready to rip, friends. Why? Because of this deal. They just signed it. And on Monday or Tuesday, we're supposed to get some official announcement, potentially from Mullen. So I'm doubling down my position on Monday. Doubling down my position, which is already large, on Mullen on Monday. I'm letting you know Sunday night so you can get in. But the real news is AMC stock tonight, friends. Oh, my God. I'm shooketh. I am shooketh. Should I do another video on this? I don't know. There's just so much going on, friends. I just have so much breaking news for you all the time. It's like every day there's some new breaking news. And Adam Aaron seems to always be connected to it. All right. Have a great night, friends.